Today we'll be doing a little rundown of my current home theater setup in my living room. Um, roughly around three years of trial, trial and error and a lot of research and a lot of everything. Um, and I ended up with this great sound. Um, let's start. My front three channels are the Sun Acoustic uh, Sierra Ones. They're your basic model, um, not the upgraded version. Same, same old tweeter. Um, definitely looking to upgrade the front three down down the road um, eventually, of course. Uh, my whole system here is retail roughly around 10K. Um, I didn't pay 10K for it, but it retails for 10K if you ran off to the store and bought my Zach setup. Great, great speakers. Um, definitely probably one of your best bang for your buck when it comes to bookshelves. Um, excellent quality. As you can see, sadly, my center channel is stuck inside my cabinet. Mm, very sad, very sad, very sad indeed. But as of right now, it's stuck there. <laughs> it's sitting on uh, ISO acoustic. Stan. Um, eventually, when I upgrade my TV, I will buy a shorter TV stand, put my center channel right smack on top, and mount my new TV on the wall, eventually. But this is what I'm stuck with again. Um, a TV that I have right now currently is a Plasma um, Panasonic ST60. Well, their last... Um, Panasonic um, plasmas that they ever made. Um, this is not their top online by any means, but when you read the reviews, it's it's a darn great TV. Um, it's calibrated with my Kalman software, so it's very accurate. Color temperature, um, grayscale, everything is pretty much spot on. Um, very accurate. Again, it's a 55 inch. Um, Getting back to my speakers, my stands are uh, uh, Sanus, uh, steel stands, uh, 24 inches height, uh, which puts the tweet ear right at my ear level, uh, seating position, which is perfect. The ISO acoustic is angled up slightly. Um, helps to direct sound to my ear. It does help. Left side of my cabinet, you will see a Panasonic um, Blu-ray player. It is the BDT220. Old, old Blu-ray player. Does its job. It ain't an Opel, but it's a very, very solid um, player. Right down below, you'll see a, an Anthem MRX500. Um, not their latest model. Their latest model is... Uh, is a 10 series, a 510, 710, and so forth. Um, this one here does a very, very good job. Um, actually tried a lot of different receivers. Um, separates are too expensive for my budget, but receiver-wise, this is one of the best out there, at least from what I've tried. Um, my favorite thing about it is the ARC, um, Room Correction. It's one of the best. Um, I've tried Odyssey. I've tried... Um, um, Yamaha's and so forth and this by far beats all the rest of them um, not a fan of Odyssey really um, when you compare this ARC to any other any of the other room correction it in my opinion it blows it away that alone made me want to get this um, this right here is, is running is powering my back four channels um, my system here is a 7.1 it's power my back uh, four channels, which are sadly in ceilings. Yes, they are. But they're clean. They're from my living room, so that's what I had to do. Um, they are the Noble Fidelities um, 6.5 inch model. Um, definitely recommend it. Sounds great for movies. Um, their customer service is crazy. Check them out if you're looking for in-ceiling speakers. 
I installed them myself with the help of a friend, and I think I did a pretty decent job. Very clean. Moving back to my front right side, I have a Parasound um, A31, which is powering my front three channels, um, putting out 250 watts rated. Definitely puts on more than that. Very clean, very solid amp. A worthy investment. Subwoofer, I have a SVS, um, SB13 Ultra. Um, probably one of the best bang for your buck when it comes to a sub. Um, when it comes to size, compact, sound quality, um, you really can't beat it. Um, when I was actually looking for a sub, I was debating between this and the um, the the JL Audios um, version, and it's a little more pricier. This one, probably can't go wrong with it. So I went with this, and then very satisfied. Speaker wires, I am running um, anti cables. These are the solid core wires. Um, not your stranded. Probably can't hear a difference. Who knows? Looks good. I like it. <laughs> All my other cables are mainly blue jean cables. Um, probably too dark to actually look at my cables, but you know, just gotta trust me. They are blue jean cables, most of them. Um, some better cables and so on. Uh, my for my acoustic treatment, I have four panels um, in front and three in the back. They are do it yourself. Um, I did it all myself, um, and I think I did a great job. Uh, I matched. I matched the fabric with the walls, so they, you know, so they look kind of neat. <laughs> Nothing too in your face. Take a little close up on them. Pretty clean job. The corners are looking good. They're a cotton fabric. Um, I forgot what the fabrics are called, but. Yeah, but um, there's stuff with um, safe and sound installation. Cheap, does a great job. Um, dimensions are four foot by 16 inches by six inches deep. The rear ones are same dimensions, except they're only three inches deep. They improved my sound quite a bit. Um, I would say if I had to give a percentage of improvement, I would say roughly around 10%. Worthy investment for sure. Um, so that, that is pretty much my setup that I currently have. Hopefully you enjoy watching it. And uh, rate and comment. Any questions, leave it below. Thank you for watching.